All right, guys, let's figure out how to find the broadcast address for a particular IP. So let's say we're going to work with the 192.168.100.4 IP, and we know the net mask. It's a class C net mask. And we want to find the broadcast address for this particular IP. So the first thing we're going to think about is that each octet of the IP in binary is going to be into 8 bits and you can see the numbers here each bit counts as a certain value so it starts from the right side here with a 1 and it doubles all the way up 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128 so given that in mind we are going to create the binary view of these numbers so let's go ahead and get the net mask out first. The net mask will be much easier to do. So what we're basically going to do, we know that because it's a 255 and that's the max it can be, we know that all of these numbers are going to be ones. When you have a zero in any one of these spots, it's saying don't add this particular number to the value. And if you have a one here, it's saying add this, add all these numbers that are represented in binary. So we already know that anything with a 255 is maxed out. So we're going to have 8 bits there maxed out. 8 bits there maxed out for 255. 8 bits there maxed out. Now we also know this is a 0, so it can't even have a 1 here as in the first byte. So all of these would have to be 0 to represent that. 7, 8. So this is the binary representation of this net mask. Now, let's do the IP, which can be a little more tricky. For, we'll start at the back here for number 4. And we know that the 4 is the third byte in here. So we only want a 1 to count the 4, and all the others should be 0. So let's do a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're going to do five zeros, a one, and a zero, zero, representing four. See that? And if you don't see that, what I did was say you're going to put a little one here for every number you want to count, and there's like little plus symbols between each of these numbers across. Say, how are we going to get to four? Well, we use this four. This digit right here represents a four. We don't want to add any of these others, so they're all going to be zeros. So that is how we got this particular number. Now let's say we're going to find the 100. So we want to start with the greatest possible, num possible byte here. We can't use the first byte because it's 128. We're already going to be over, right? So we have to put a zero for the first byte. Next is 64. We can use that. And we can also use the 32 next to it. That's going to be 96. So we're looking for four more to reach the 100. So we're going to have a 0, 0, 0 for 32, 16, and 8. But then we come to our 4. We go, yeah, 4 is exactly what we need to finish that 100. So the 2 and the 1 again are going to be 0. And for the 168, the same thing again. You're going to start at the most common the most highest byte available, 128. So we do want to put a 128 in there to start reaching this final number. We can't do 64 because that's going to put us over our number. So we're going to put a 0 here. Now we can use a 32. So let's put in a 32 here, which will give us 160. Now you can see we only need 8 more. So we don't want the 16. Let's zero that out. The 8 is next. We want the 8. And there we go. That's perfect. So we don't want to use the 4, the 2, or the 1. 0, 0, 0. Don't use those. And for the 192, we're going to start with the largest bit, which is 128. We're going to use that. And we're also going to use the 64. And that is going to equal exactly 192 with the first two bits there. So all the others have to be 0. We're not going to use those. So that's going to be six zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now we have the binary representation of this IP and this net mask. Alright, so I made a fresh sheet here. 
So again, we have our IP here and our network here. How do we find the broadcast address of this IP? So what you do is you look at the bottom net mask and whenever the bottom net mask value is zero, you have to change the above section to a one. So let's go ahead and go through here. No zeros, no zeros, no zeros. So this part is not going to change. But over here, we have some work to do. This is all zeros. So what this means is that everything above it is going to have to change to a one. So anytime you have a zero in the bottom net mask, that means change the ones above it to a one. This is all zeros. So we have to change this to all ones. And as we know, all ones equals a 255 as we've seen here. So that means that with this conversion done, this is your broadcast address for this particular IP. So again, you convert your IP to binary, you convert your net mass to binary, any zeros and you put them under each other, sort of like a subtraction, and any zeros in your net mask mean to change the IP, the byte right above it, to a 1. So because this was all zeros, we had to change everything in this section to a 1. And we know that all 1's, as we saw earlier, is going to be a 255. So that is the broadcast address and it ends in a 255.